we're here for week 11, media availability with defensive coordinator, inside linebackers coach Peter Sermon prior to week 11, Saturday's matchup with Washington State here at California Memorial Stadium. If you have questions, go ahead and put them in the queue now and we will call on you. We'll start with Thomas Dunn from Right for California. Go ahead. Uh, good morning, Peter. Uh, Washington State, they have started to struggle in recent weeks, especially establishing themselves on the ground. I know with in terms of like the front seven, they've really been going down with a lot of injuries. How do you feel like this matchup is going to come to fruition on Saturday? Well, I mean, I think you go through ebbs and flows offensively and defensively uh, as you go throughout the season. You know, some is attributable to uh, competition. Some is attributable probably to the health of your team. Uh, I think last week, uh, you know, watching that game, that was uh, – about as poor conditions as you could play in, um, you know, offensively, hold on to the ball. And I think that probably affected uh, both sides of the ball. But, uh, you know, we're expecting a team that's going to, uh, you know, come in here and uh, do their best to establish run. Uh, you know, I think the, uh, the, the mode is, uh, you know, try to try to get better spacing in the, in the secondary. And to do that is, is, you know, an effective way to do that is try to run the ball effectively and, and stick with it. Thank you. All right, we'll go to Jeff Ferrado from Cal Sports Report. Can you uh, just comment on the status the status of your defensive line, and uh, are you expecting to have uh, how many serviceable bodies do you expect to have on Saturday? You've, you've just been beat up there. It seems like a lot. Yeah, we've had uh, some guys beat up really in the uh, the front seven, Jeff. Uh, you know, we had. Uh, um, you know, several guys uh, that had to get helped off on on Saturday. Uh, right now, it's, you know, it's kind of early enough in the week that, that there's still some guys that uh, are on the injury report, but we're uh, hopeful that uh, they'll be able to return by Saturday. So, uh, you know, right now it's probably a little bit, uh, not a little bit, it is uh, too early for me to be able to comment on the availability of how many guys we'll have up uh, in the defense outside backers and inside backer rooms. Um, but those guys are doing all they can to get healthy and, and uh uh, you know, uh, following our defense, we need everybody. You know, we need every uh, every able body that that can uh, help us on defense, and, and a lot of those guys are also helping on special teams. So uh, there's a lot of opportunities for those guys to step up and help. Thanks. All right. If you have other questions for Coach, go ahead and put in the queue now. All right. We'll go back to Jeff. Go ahead, Jeff. Yeah, following up on what Thomas asked you, um, just wondering, when you're playing a team that has not run the ball well at all, I think they had four yards rushing against Stanford, do you, can you relax in that spot and, and, and sort of concern yourself more with the pass, or, or is that just an impossible guessing game? Well, I think a lot of those things, you know, you, you try to do your best with, uh, uh, you know, what the the plan of attack will be coming in, um, you know, in the, my experience, Jeff is, uh, you know, you plan for certain things, but, uh, every game unfolds itself, um, in an unpredictable way. Rarely do things stay on schedule in terms of how we sit in that defensive staff room or the big staff room and, and talk about how we think it's going to go. There's, uh, un, um, you know, there's unscheduled, um, takeaways, there's unscheduled uh, special teams plays, there's times that you, you take possession of the ball, um, you know, not in the ideal spot. So all those factors kind of kind of um, go into how a, a game ultimately unfolds. Uh, you know, so for us, as we plan, um, you know, we kind of start from scratch uh, every every week. And, you know, uh, we, we feel we have to be uh, uh, a thoughtful, you know, uh, durable defense, uh, and you have to keep uh, run spacing fits. Um, you know, as, as, as we continue to grow and develop, uh, you, it's hard for us to deviate, you know, uh, too far from run spacing and, and kind of our pass distribution uh, because we're always in the, in the constant process of, of trying to develop a, a better scheme, uh, better techniques, better fundamentals, better alignment rules. Uh, so it's kind of a, a, a long-winded answer, but... You know, the, the way we're going to approach it is we need to have integrity both in the run and the pass, uh, let how we play, uh, let the game unfold, and let some of the down and distance situations uh, give us some more uh, guidance than just, you know, maybe what the statistical numbers have been. And when you're coming off a game like this that's just so tough on your defense, um, how important is it for some of the older guys, the leaders, maybe a Craig Woodson, to sort of step up uh, this week and, and make sure the team's in the right place 
mentally, emotionally? Yeah, I think every week, Jeff, is a great opportunity for, for people that can impact uh, the locker room to impact the locker room. Uh, you know, there's been some uh, some stretches that we've done some good things. There's been some stretches that uh, we have to significantly improve upon. Uh, however, I think when things are good, uh, it, it's important for leaders to, to uh, continue to push the envelope and, you know, can your good be better? And when uh, the way you're playing isn't good enough, uh, it, it's also an opportunity for those guys to, to push and say, this is not the standard, this is not good enough, and continue to um, you know, bring that standard up to, to where we think it can be. So when it's good, uh, as football coaches, as football players, we want to be better. And when it's not good, uh, same difference. We want to bring that up and, and play uh, to an opportunity and play with a product that we think can help the team win. How do you think Woodson's playing these days? I think Craig is uh, continuing to, to play real effectively. Uh, I think he's tackled. Uh, very well on defense. He's continuing to be a, a leader out there. You know, uh, you know some of the splash plays. We all want more. Uh, you know, sacks, interceptions. Uh, you know, those types of things. But I'm, I'm very pleased with the way Craig uh, is is um, preparing. I'm really uh, pleased with the way Craig is is uh, influenced in the locker room as a leader. Um, and I think he's a great young man, and, and uh, he's a fantastic football player. All right. Thanks. All right, we'll go back to Thomas Dunn. Uh, Peter, in a league full of elite quarterbacks, someone that doesn't necessarily get talked about a lot or as much as others is Cam Ward. I was wondering what your impressions are of Cam Ward and what stress he has kind of given you in the past and how it's going to – how is uh, the preparation is going for this Saturday? Yeah, you know uh, you know the conference is pretty darn uh, good when, when Cam Ward is, uh, is not up there with, with the top guys. Uh, you know, 17 touchdowns. Uh, I think he's uh, almost at 70% completion. Um, unfortunately, uh, for me, it feels like a broken record every week. With some of these statistical numbers, uh, I'm having to continually uh, reassess what my baseline uh, has been to what it uh, we're you know what we're currently facing. And uh, he's a, a fantastic arm talent. Uh, he has an imagination. Uh, we will get some plays that that are off schedule, that uh, that are longer than you traditionally get from a, a pocket passer. His eyes uh, have a, a, a great um, feel for staying down the field. Uh, I think his offensive, uh, his skill guys do a good job of finding themselves to be uncovered. Uh, and, you know, when the when the pocket, when the play does kind of, uh, I would say, deteriorate, they might say, um, you know, they might have a different uh, word for it on their offense because I think you see a lot of things that happen that are really good when the play uh, so-called deteriorates, that uh, the, the skill guys do a good job of getting open. Uh, but he can make every throw, um, and I truly believe, I bet those guys uh, in that facility um, knows he can make every throw. I bet Cam Ward thinks he can make every throw, and, and sometimes that's a good thing, and sometimes that's a, that's an opportunity for us to go get the ball because I think the kid can make every throw. Uh, you know, just sometimes that, uh, you know, the throw is so tight that it gives us an opportunity to overlap a little bit. But uh, he's a special player, a special talent, uh, and, they, and they let him uh, rip it.